in your 40s, 50s, 60s, and beyond, you deserve to live your best life. Say goodbye to preconceived notions and let's shatter those stereotypes together. Get ready to own your vitality because age, well, that's just a number. Hey everybody, it's BJ and Ruth and we're back talking all things health and fitness. Thank you for joining us today. I just want to encourage you if you haven't, please take a sec and give us a like for the video and subscribe to the channel. We are putting out regular content and more and more content as we go forward. We have some uh, great guest hosts coming on, other co-hosts. We have some other content and material. So you want to make sure you don't miss anything. So go ahead and subscribe. That'll help us out as well. And so Ruth, guess what we're talking about today? I'm thinking we're talking about five muscle building mistakes that women can make in the gym. Yeah, 100%. That's where we're going today. And, and really, we're talking about um, as women age. As, as we women are age. Aging, and right? and so. guys, keep watching because there's going to be some things that it's not just women. Right. But yeah. yeah. For the guys that are watching, there's one of these that is so... <clears throat> So much of a guy thing. It's a. It's just like a hundred percent guy thing. So, um, I'm thinking of which one that is. I think. I think I know. <laughs> yeah. So, um, however, just so to as a preface to where we're going, um, you know, it's. I think it's important for women to understand that building muscle makes you stronger and makes you more shapely. Yeah. And and makes you more confident. It does. It's not and and women so often i don't want to get big i don't want to get bulky well naturally we don't have the testosterone that the men naturally carry so we're more estrogen dominant so yeah. it's harder for our bodies to pack on that muscle but it yeah. just understand that it's just to be that that fit body and to be it it it's it's lean and, and it's a beautiful look yeah um yeah and and you can't accidentally end up looking like you can't a pro body you, 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 no <laughs> right? not at all um, or even a, uh, or, or even a, a, a bit today what is the I guess they're called bikini models or right. physique models or whatever they yeah. are if if we're talking about a non-natural federation you will even in a natural one you won't accidentally get that way you don't accidentally get huge right so <laughs> all right so uh, let's start with number one is not eating enough calories not eating enough calories and if you think about it I, you've often heard me say food is fuel so put in the fuel if you don't you don't have anything to build on um, and with that you can break it down to calories and what does that consist of so yeah. not taking enough protein in not that's a big one it's a it's um, huge because not having enough calories doesn't just mean oh I should eat more no, because the bag of chips is not equal to that, you know, putting in chicken or something or, like that. Or whatever, yeah. Whatever. Because yeah. what you what we're trying to focus on is you want to focus on putting your body in an anabolic state, a muscle building state. Muscle building state. So that it can respond to your time in the gym from the nutrition that you've given it. Yeah, and if right? you don't put enough nutrition in, you don't have anything to build on. Yeah. So, uh, so that's a big one. And I, I, I think to add to that is also the importance of a quality post-workout meal. Yeah. Right. Cause I think a lot of times the ladies will, maybe they can get to the gym at lunch or something and then, but they'll skip their lunch as a, as a byproduct. They'll skip their lunch to get to the gym and then they won't eat something afterwards. What you or, eat afterwards is so important. Yeah. Hugely important. Or yeah. they won't eat the quality nutrition afterwards. Right. Right. Yeah. So, um, so super important. Um, and that's, you know, we, we, we talk about it all the time. You cannot out train a bad diet. You can't. Not possible. Right. And a bad diet could be a calorie deficient one. It could be an excessive calorie uh, diet. Yeah. And it could be also a whole bunch of skewed macros. So you have too much, you're consuming too many carbs, you're consuming too much Not enough fat. protein, too much carbs. Yeah, yeah, whatever it might be. Yeah. And so you have to decide also in that, what does your nutrition plan look like? Yeah. Because you might say, well, I'm going to do paleo. Great. I'm going to do keto. Great. I'm going to do something more balanced. Great. You just have to figure out what's going to work for you and what you can commit to as a lifestyle. Yeah. Right? So, okay. Uh, number two, and this one is a classic one for guys also, is I'm going to just design my own workout. Which is great if you know what you're doing. And if you don't know what you're doing, yeah. don't do it. <laughs> yeah. And, I, I, and that's the big one is if, if there's no expertise to design your own workout, do not DIY your own workout. No. If you understand the basic principles and the concepts, then you might want to try it on your own. But... 
Yeah. I never did my so, first one on my own, here's ever. The, yeah, and here's the other part of that is you're going to be limited in your exercise choice if it's just based on your experience. That's but right. But when you involve a coach or a trainer of some kind that can create a program for you, they're going to take you out of maybe your comfort zone. That there's an exercise I would not do, but I'm going to do it because it's in my program it's now. It's in my program. And it's, yeah. it's strategically in my program, not just throwing a whole bunch of exercises in and hoping that something works. That's right. Right? So uh, I, I think that's a really huge one because the other part of that is correct form and technique. That's huge. Right? That's you, absolutely huge. Uh, so you, you want to make sure that you're using correct form and technique. And we've talked about avoiding injuries uh, on this channel. And the thing is, the older that, that we get, the less uh, wiggle room, how about, there is for our muscles, for our joints, and you know, all of those things. And all so, of those things, yeah. Yeah, so, all right, so that's number two. Uh, number three is stress hormones are too high. Ooh, that dreaded cortisol. Right? <laughs> and, and cortisol has a place, but not if it's, if it's it up all the time. Up all the time. There are things that, you know what, I, me personally, I keep yoga into my world. I meditate. I, sometimes it's just when things come at you and I'm feeling that, ah, it's just breathe, just breathe. Right. And, and even to stop in the middle of a day and just take a deep inhale and a deep exhale and just breathe is right. just, just to keep myself out yeah, of that you know, fight and, or flight. And here's the thing, um, you're, a, you're a mom, your sons are grown, but you're a mom with two sons. Yeah, because I don't think and, parenting ever ends. Right. <laughs> um, and you have, you know, you're a business owner. Yeah. Uh, you're an artist. Yeah. So uh, you have a lot of things going on. I do. And it, it would be easy to become so stressed about everything. Yeah. That you're, you're just kind of all over. Yeah. And what happens is when we get under stress and stay under consistent, constant stress, our, our body is going to not be looking to add muscle. It's going to be looking to survive. To survive. And right? so, yeah, you can't, you, you can't grow, you can't build, you can't, yeah. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Okay, uh, number four is you get injured too often. This is a byproduct yeah. of number two, number designing two, your own workout. Designing you and not having if, proper form. Yeah, because now it's different if you know what you're doing and you understand how everything works. However, if not, um, the, the chances of you getting injured because of incorrect form, incorrect weight selection, uh, using exercises that just aren't good for, uh, for your body and your body type. Uh, you, we're gonna do an episode where we talk about exercises that probably you can leave as you age and have alternative exercises that are easier on joints and things like that. Yeah. But I think that's a, that's a big one that you can potentially end up injured because you just aren't sure what you're, what you're doing when you're doing it. My training today in my 50s, mid 50s is different than when I started in my 40s, whereas um, often on my, one of my rest days, because I have two of them now, there is a yoga day where I'm, it's stretching and, and I like the hot yoga uh, studios because the, the heat allows me to, it's important to stretch, to quiet my mind, but also just let my body just feel long and loose and, and do that. Otherwise I'm just this tight and that's when yep. I'm constantly in the, in my body feels tight, muscles feel tight and then right. I'm gonna get hurt. Sure. Yeah. Uh, and the last one, and I think this one applies to all of us, but can certainly apply for ladies as they're going back to the gym or maybe they're um, figuring out where to put it in your schedule, in your day, you're, you have family obligations, you have work obligations, all these things, is um, you're too impatient. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody wants, they, they, they think a <clears throat> step foot in the gym and you know, clock is ticking, I just want to see and the outcome well right. no be patient just let go through the process and yeah. yeah and we did a video talking about how much muscle can you expect to gain at different ages and based on your um your exercise experience and your, your muscle memory so i'll put a link to that video but you can certainly go and have a look at that and just see if that helps you at all for the ladies but i think the the big thing is it's all about consistency and patience 
right? So consistency with the program, consistency, consistency pardon me, with the nutrition plan, consistency with rest, mm -hmm. uh, and like we said, about taking time to not be stressed. And you might say, well, that's easier said than done. But no, the, it's not. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, you know what, it's, it's something that you have to, we all have to do on purpose. Yeah. Right? Otherwise, it's, it's never going to change. No. So. Exactly. Okay. So that's it. Those are five muscle building mistakes that uh, spe specifically geared towards women in their 40s, 50s, 60s. Uh, you know, take a look. If there's something that applies for you, grab a hold of it and figure out, okay, how can I make some adjustments here? What can I do different? I think this would be great too, is if you have something that, that we haven't talked about that you say, you know, here's my biggest challenge when it comes to adding muscle, getting to the gym, these things, put it in the comments because I think it's great to share with everybody because everybody's going through something. Yeah. Right? Everybody's working through something to get to the gym and to do this lifestyle and to make it work for all of, all of us. And, you know, uh, somebody had said to me one time, you know, I just thought it was easier for you to do this stuff. And, and I had said to them, no, I've, I've created habits and systems and discipline over years of doing it. Um, which but, is the lifestyle. You've created those habits, right. which is now incorporated into your right. lifestyle. But we all had to work through life to figure that out. Yeah. So I think it's, that'd be a great thing to share for everybody. So, um, so thank you again for joining us today. If you haven't, please uh, give us a like and subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll see you next time. See ya.